Welcome back to the Sideline Squeeze. I'm Victoria Daly. And I'm Lindsay Ahrens. This week's super exciting. We're filming in our new studio, so we'll be here for the rest of the year. But let's jump right into it. Thursday night football, we had the Vikings versus the Rams. You know, it was a great game back and forth, but the Rams ended up on top with a 30-20 to win. You know, Matthew Stafford, 279 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Sam Darnold, 240 yards, two touchdowns. One face mask pull. How do you feel about that call at the end of the game? I don't know how the refs didn't call a face mask on that play. I think it was so blatantly a face mask, especially when it was such a close game. It was only an eight-point game at that point. Mm -hmm. Could have been anyone's game. Exactly. They could have went down the field, scored a touchdown, two-point conversion. Anything could have happened. And, you know, all those things online are like, if it was Patrick Mahomes, would they have called it? What do you think? 100% would have called it. I don't know. The NFL refs this year, I think, have definitely been a little bit biased, which has been, you know, a topic of conversation for a lot of NFL fans. I don't know. It's that was pretty pretty bad in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I just think it's so obvious that how do you not call it? But you know, there's good plays, there's good there's bad calls. I don't know. I also though think that a big topic of that game was that the Rams had their two top wide receivers back off the injured list. Yeah, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua were back in this game. Cup scored a touchdown. And I thought, you know, it was interesting because before this game and before DeAndre Hopkins was traded to the Chiefs, there was conversation that maybe Cooper Cup would go to the Chiefs. But I don't know. Do you think there's any way they would trade away one of their star receivers now that they're getting their momentum back? I don't think so. I think that he's back now. He's ready to play. I just, I think it'd be too controversial. And I think it would just be bad. You saw with these wide receivers out how bad the Rams were doing. They were 2-4 and four before this game. And now with them back, they just pulled out a big win. Versus, you know, the Vikings were 5-1. and one And, you know, now they're 5-2. and two. Like, how do you feel about this? Do you think they're going to go on a decline? I don't know. It's super deflating for the Vikings. They started off the season really strong, 5-0. and oh. Now they suffered two losses in one week, 5-2 yeah. and two now. I don't know. I mean, Jeff Justin Jefferson played great. You know, he actually, I think he broke Randy Moss's record. Uh, he, uh, Randy Moss had, it was a, for 100 plus receiving yards um, in the first five seasons with how many games, I believe Randy Moss had 30 and Justin Jefferson broke that with now having 31 games with over 100 yards. So impressive for him. Sam Darnold in the beginning of the season was having like an MVP caliber season mm -hmm. it felt like, but I don't know, do you think that was just luck or do you think that Darnold really has the skill to maybe be an MVP, you know, in that conversation? I, I don't see Sam Darnold as an MVP. I. I just don't think, I think he did great for them. But, you know, the Lions also was a tough game. It's a, you know, division rival. Like, they're going to, it was a tough game. It was a back-to-back -back game. And, you know, it fell down to the wire. This game, I really thought the Vikings were going to, you know, jump back in, get the win. You know, it's the Rams. They haven't been doing great. And then next week they play the Colts. But I do think that could be a good game for the Vikings to kind of get their mojo back. I agree. I think it's definitely possible the Vikings can, you know, get back in that groove. Right now they're 5-2. Five and two, And speaking of 5-2, and two, another team is 5-2, and two, uh -huh. Syracuse football. Tough loss last night. Mm, they fell was... to Pittsburgh 41-13 to in prime time. It's a little bit embarrassing as, you know, Syracuse fans. And Kyle McCord, it was just an atrocious outing for him. He threw, I want to say, you know, five interceptions, three of which were pick sixes. And it was just a disappointing result, you know, because a win would have clinched, you know, a bowl game for us and maybe even a spot at the AP yeah. poll. Since, Pitt, you know, Pitt was ranked 19th. Yeah, Pitt was ranked 19th, and I was thinking, wow, like, if we win this, will we get ranked? But I think we would have had we won, but, I mean... Especially the Stanford loss earlier on in the season. That felt like it could have been, you know, just a fluke, but this was, you know... Yeah, this was really disappointing to watch. I don't know, I really just think that... Syracuse, you know, hopefully will jump back and everything, but it was just hard. They're going to have to. I mean, this was just a terrible outing for Kyle McCord. He set the tone bad. You know, the first drive that Syracuse had was a pick six. Then I think in the first court, first half, he had three more interceptions, two of which were pick sixes. Mm -hmm. So just he was also throwing into double coverage so much the game, too. I saw one clip where he like sacked himself, like he just like <laughs> fell onto the ground and nobody even hit him. So just rough outing for Kyle McCord. But do you think that this is like you know, just a fluke game for him, or is this going to be something we're going to have to expect in the future? I think there's a lot of pressure. You know, you're playing a 19th ranked team. You're at their home stadium. You know, you just came off a of bye week, too. I think there was a lot of pressure around it that I feel like it was a fluke. I've been so happy with how he's been performing this season that I do think that he'll pick it up next week. And, you know, I think anyone after that type of game, they hold themselves to a standard being like, I don't want to do that again. Like, I have to do great. Like, you want a bowl game. So I really think that he'll come back next week. And I hopefully. agree. And there's no doubt that we won't, you know, I, I don't think we'll lose every other game and not make it to a bowl game. So I think a bowl, you know, is definitely in our future. I don't know about AP poll, especially after that brutal loss.
but we have some time to reset. We don't play Virginia Tech until next Saturday. So hopefully Syracuse will get it together. Kyle McCord will work on, you know, not throwing five interceptions a game and we'll be able to, you know, come back stronger. Well, that's all we have for this week's episode of the Sideline Squeeze. I'm Victoria Daly. And I'm Lindsay Aaron. We'll see you next week.